Hi guys, it's uh, there's the time. Nearly caught past midnight. Mum was supposed to ring and she hasn't. But anyway, thought I'd start a vlog now because I was uh, well, I'm a bit too excited to leave it. This one, as you know from the previous video, turned on but didn't boot. Well, it boots. Um, I wasn't going to, but I will show you that now. All I did was open it up and move the hard drive cable onto the other header on the motherboard. And for some reason it boots. There's a Viglin. Well, I'm going to let you guess before it boots up what operating system this is in. Um, this is running, I should say. So I'm going to hit escape. Why is it asking for password? It didn't before, but... Why has it done that? I'm not sure why it's gone and done that. Should we try again? I had this same issue with the Windows 95 after I cleaned it all out and whatnot, but I got over that. I'm going to try again. If it doesn't work, I'll piss around with it tomorrow and I'll show you tomorrow. going to work this time, no password. There we go. Starting MS-DOS. There should be a clue there to what operating system this runs. And I'm presuming this was online at some point because it's got Norton Antivirus on it. It's also got an Ethernet card there but I would presume that would have been used for like an office network or something. Be interesting to connect an Ethernet cable to it and to the internet and see if it does do anything. There we go. Windows 3.1. I did say in the other video I had the suspicion that's what this is on. We've got a few games here. I don't know if I can actually change this. We've got all this in here. We've got what, uh, dogs, that's empty, accessories, Norton antivirus, applications. Main. Oh, we've got a control panel, have we? It says sound, but I don't see no sound socket on the back here. And there's not one on the front either. So I'm guessing there's no sound card installed and Wow. <laughs> There's not a lot under um, setting. Oh, hello, we've got settings up here. Oh, we've got fonts, ports, mouse, desktop, keyboard printers. Date and time. Oh, oh. when I was cleaning out the Windows 95 because it was rather dirty in there, I've also um, changed the um, CMOS battery because it kept coming up saying CMOS date and time is not set. So I was like, before I actually set that, I could guarantee, you know, the memory battery for it was dead. Or at least, you know, probably not very good. Got Microsoft Office. No, I just opened that one, didn't I, dumbass. Ah. Aha! We're getting some of it. This is what it was like on the window, uh, Windows 3.1 I used when I was a wee boy. We had it all tiled up like this. It does have Microsoft Office installed as well. Ah. 
Ah, uh, need to time a driver. What about that one? Can we run Microsoft Word? Whee! Well, I could use it as an old word processor. <laughs> well, as you can see, we do work. Literally all I did, like I said, I opened it up, moved the um, IDE cable from one header to the other, turned it back on and, well, Bob's your uncle. <laughs> you can see for yourself. I'm not going to worry about sound on this one because I don't think I'll ever do anything that would involve sound, but everything else is working. The Windows 95 is working. I had that password thing, but like I said, I actually uh, got around that. That's what I like. You just end your Windows session. If I knew the commands, I'd put different commands in. Because this is an MS-DOS machine, so I know you can do such things, but like I said, I'm not that familiar with uh, MS-DOS or anything, so I've actually got a Viglan laptop as well, which is running Windows 3.1. So I'm happy. I've got three machines. I'm not actually that happy with the Windows 98, because that motherboard, even though it's running Windows 98 perfectly fine, it's a bit too modern for my liking, so... But... I can't complain, you know, I've got a Windows 98 machine there. I am going to boot that one up tomorrow and just see if the audio does work. Um, not that that's a, a major issue, but it would be nice if it does. Audio does work on the Windows 95, it all works. Apart from the CD-ROM drive isn't being recognised. I don't know if it's a faulty CD-ROM drive or if I need to install drivers for it. But other than that, everything else works. And it's got all sorts of stuff installed on that one, including Office. So, uh, yeah. I <laughs> started the week off having a shit week and basically ended it on a good note. So, I can't complain about these. I'm just going to go into the bedroom. Because now I've got those... I can now start work on this corner. This is why it's all been put on hold, because I didn't have the computers I wanted. I had the Windows Millennium and the Windows 2000, and fuck knows how many Windows XP machines to choose from to put on the um, setup when I get it done. But, uh, oh, that's why it's warm in here. I've got the window shut. Oh yeah, I shut it this morning because it was raining. So now... I've got the Windows 3.1, which was actually a bonus. I wasn't expecting to ever get one of those. Windows 95 and a Windows 98. I wouldn't mind the um, actual desktop version of a Windows 98, which I'm watching on eBay, but they're asking 50-odd quid for that, and uh, which is worth it, because they are selling a working machine, you know. But I don't have 50-odd quid. And that's not counting the postage either. That's just... I'm trying to get hold of the box with one hand. I did it! <laughs> yeah, that is just the machine itself. But uh, what I want to do, I want, I'm also going to have to invest in a... a six-way KVM, I think that's what I need, KVM switch. One, two, three, yeah, because I've got the Windows Millennium, the Windows 2000, which I wouldn't mind building into a slightly older machine, which I could actually do, thinking about it. It might work better on that one. Um, and Windows XP, and then I've got the other three in the lounge now. And that really was a bonus. <laughs> when we were talking, he said, you know, because he took me down into the shop's basement where he's got a load of crap stored. And he said, you know, he said, at least only one works. Well, I am. It is tempting to go back and have another look. Or to go back and ask if he's got any more computers like these lying around. 
if anything, you know, just to use as spare parts to keep these three running. But uh, I know they're worth now a darn sight more than the ten pounds I paid for them each. So I spent thirty quid on three computers, and I think that was thirty quid well spent. Um, if I can get Windows ninety eight on that desktop to run smoothly. It has crashed a couple of times when I've been experimenting with it. But, uh... I will, uh... I might have a tinker with that tomorrow. And I might go back in there tomorrow as well. We'll see. But, yeah. I am happy. Really, all I was going to get originally was the Windows 95 and a Windows 98 to go in that corner. The fact I've got a working 3.1 up there it is a bonus. <clears throat> I don't know how much exactly, at least the, you know, the Windows 3.1 and 95 is going to be worth as they are. I'm not going to use that keyboard I've got. I'll just grab that out of my pile. I've got better white keyboards up there I'm going to use. But the um, rollerball mouse I'm using, the three button mouse, works great for a rollerball. And I've got quite a few other mice like that. Even with a scroll wheel, but I figured... Does anyone... Or has anyone ever used a scroll wheel on a computer that old? <laughs> That's a really old damn keyboard. Anyway, I'm going to shut the camera off because the battery's going down anyway. I want a drink. And as Mum hasn't called, I might bugger off to bed. So, uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Right, it's Friday morning. It's actually 11.27. And I've decided what I'm going to do today as well. I've just eaten. I'm going to be working in the bedroom. This lot is going to be changed. What I'm going to do, well first what I've got to do, that's going to go outside, just outside the front door for now, out of the way. I'm going to clear this whole floor, including the hairball Mr. has uh, thrown up, wherever he is, I don't actually know where he is. He might be hiding in the lounge somewhere, but anyway. Once I've done that and I've got some room in here, uh, everything in there, all the computers, everything on the top there, is all going to come off and be moved. Because uh, I don't actually think I've cleaned, well I haven't cleaned out on the floor or the shelves or anything since it's been put in, or since I put it in. Because you know it's such a jaw. To move all this but uh, yeah a lot of it is going to be changed um, so yeah I'm basically just gonna pull everything out clear that top and basically just start fresh start over uh, I think these lights that hang there are gonna have to be moved somewhere I haven't got a clue where but We'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Uh, I may even put a couple of the TVs that are hit under here, or at least one, on display there. Not sure how I'm going to set the um, corner up for these computers yet, but uh, again, I want to just clear this room first. This ladder can go out on the landing as well. Out of the way, I don't need that. <sighs> I'm not sure I'm actually going to need those. Actually, yes I will, because I want to put that... Right, I'm taking one of these to Mum's this weekend. 
so I can just get my stepdad just to put put it through the um, table saw so I cut it to the right length and screw it on the side here that'll add a bit of strength and that'll tidy that end up and I think the rest not unless I can find somewhere just to tuck them <clears throat> so yeah that's my plan Oh, and last night I got bored while I was waiting for a video to render up so uh, I cleaned the Windows 95 computer and the um, 3.1 up Oh, and the Windows 98, but that's still a bit... It's better, but there's a lot of heavy marks on it. I think that's been, um... I think that's had a rough life, bless it. But yeah, it's, a, it's certainly a lot better than it was. You can see that. You can see all the splattered dirt has gone off there, but... Uh, I'm still having issues with the drive, unfortunately. But, uh, it'll get sorted. I'll find a way to sort this out. If I don't decide to uh, rebuild it or something but uh, yeah I'd have preferred an older motherboard but I'm gonna there is no sound on this one I have tried it the sounds not working it's not installed but the vi graphics are so I'm thinking maybe MSI has sound drivers for um, Windows 98 so we're gonna have a look and I might it's not necessary I don't think on this machine but I might put an extra fan in the front look at that for a dinky little one to go on the back you can see one's meant to be here because it's got these dinky well the four screws but oddly enough I do think I've got one that will fit on there as well and, uh, yeah I gave these a clean up I'll show you these a lot better when they're through there on the thing so what I'm going to do is turn you off because it's boring watching me clean in there and uh, what I'll do I'll turn you back on I think well, actually what I'll do I'll just turn you on to update when I've made a, a big dent in the bedroom we'll say so talk to you later I've gone topless Worked up a sweat, but I'll show you what I've been doing. <laughs> I think I've got enough CRT TVs down there. There's three, plus that one's four. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine computers alone. Ten if I count this old Zenith Systems laptop, which actually doesn't work. It's got a memory issue. But uh, I don't know how to find out what, which bit of memory it is, otherwise I could try and source the chips and uh, solder in some new ones and probably get it working. But anyway, here's the table. I do at some point want to pull these drawers out and uh, just clean up behind there because there's an extension lead down there as well that don't need to be there anymore. And, uh, I've already found two harvest spiders. One's up the vacuum cleaner and the other one is running around over there somewhere. But uh, that big bastard is nowhere in sight. I don't know if he's hiding behind one of these lamps or where he's disappeared to. But uh, the friggin' cobwebs, man. On the backs of a lot of these, especially the ones that I hadn't moved for months. I mean, like these TVs, they're all full of cobwebs. Back of that was full of cup. Look at the dust on it. Remind me not to let it get that bad again. Right, let's move this light. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I need somewhere to stand the duplicates, really, don't I? Or store them. Blah. Anyone want a tatty truffy lamp E? Perhaps paint it up with your own paint? I don't know. <laughs> I could actually scrape all that off and re-spray it. I've got spray paints. Yeah, right. Oh, oh I see. 
thought this end was dropping out, but that end had got pushed up. Right, so, next job is to get PC in place and at least the cables, like the um, KVM cables. I've only got this four-way though, I need a bigger one. A bigger one that uses PS2 keyboard and mouse, not USB. But yeah, I've only got this four-way, unfortunately. All you do just to switch between them, I think I've shown this on videos before, but you just click that and you can cycle through all four PCs. Apparently these were common to use on servers, because you'd have several servers all together. So they would use that and have just the one monitor, so they'd just flip between them to monitor them. Uh, I was going to put the Dell on top, because I'm going to put them in at an angle on here. Perhaps set the uh, mouse and keyboard up on here. Um, and I was going to put the Viglan on top, but I don't think I'm going to have the room. Either that or I'm going to put the Dell, the Viglan, and have the keyboard and mouse here. And then my silver Sony Vio has just got the video capture on it. I'll set it up here. It'd be nice to get it on this shelf actually, but. I'd I think it might be a bit too tall. We'll see. Could have done with this being bigger, but I ain't got the room. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, I need to... I must remember to take that panel with me Sunday to get that trimmed, and then I can just screw that straight to the side there. That'll tidy that up. If I had somewhere to put these drawers out of the way I would have um, cut some of them up and put some drawers or shelves I should say in there as well but uh, I haven't got that right I suppose I better turn the camera off and uh, get cracking looking a bit cleaner now isn't it we're getting somewhere I think it's looking a darn sight tidier up this corner as well well, I've got is to find somewhere to put the uh, Windows 98 computer and uh, I wanted to put that under here as well, my uh, Windows XP gaming rig, but uh, it ain't going to fit. It's too tall. Uh, and I'm hoping to save on a bit of room and the fact that the KVM cable won't reach. A Windows 98 will squeeze in that gap. I hope. If it doesn't, I'll move that. Don't ask me where, I'll find somewhere to put it. Right. I need to grab one of those white keyboards from up there at some point. Uh, I just want to finish playing around with the Windows 98 computer before I stuff that under there. It's going to be a tight squeeze, you know. It's going to be a, t <laughs> it's going to be a bit of a tight squeeze. Right. Um, I want the lights on. That can go in the dirty wash basket. Oh, actually, while I'm this way. Look how clean this is now, look. Doesn't that come up nice? I think there's still a bit of muck in there, but I didn't take the cover off. That one's come up just as nice. Still got that faded bezel in there. I'm not that fussed by that. I'm just happy I've got one. But yeah, and that was just with ordinary kitchen spray, a sponge, and a tea towel. Which is why I've just thrown that one in the dirty laundry. Did the same with this one. Wee. I just want to slide that CD drive out of there because it's still coming up as a slave drive and I don't know why. Anyway, I'm going to do that. So with the next update, this should be in place. And then all I've got to do is flick a switch. 
which I might actually modify to be honest while I'm down in this corner and before because uh, I can't get to the socket and for safety reasons I don't want to leave the socket on all the time I only want to turn it on when I want to use one of these computers because I've got, I don't know if you can see it under there, but that it's a very long 8-way extension socket so what I'm actually planning on doing is going for a dig around under the bed I've got a box of electrical bits and bobs under there Let's see if I can find a fused spur a switched fused spur I could perhaps screw to the wooden leg on there and have a cable come from the extension socket basically into that and then down and uh, into the plug socket so I've got a switch and an extra fuse in line there as well uh, so I might do that before I put that in and I'll put another six way in to run well what if I got up this end I've got that one those and that and if I could have fitted it in I would have put my uh, XP gaming rig on here as well because I've got a two-way KVM switch in the box under the bed I've got the four-way one up there which I am going to need a bigger one whichever way I look at it because I need to get the Windows 2000 in which is that one which will go up this end later I just thought it looked better and would be easier to use with all this up here and I've actually forgotten to thread the cables to connect those to the PC down the back. <laughs> Oops, I'll do that later though. I can connect up the uh, Ethernet cable as well. I do need to get under the bed and have a vacuum under there as well, but not today. Doing all this lot has been enough. Anyway, I'm jabbering on again, so uh, I'll talk to you in a little while. <sighs> I'm getting knackered. I should sleep well tonight anyway. Look at that. We're there, almost. The bottom two down here, when I get my arm in the right place, they're connected, so are those two. And what I've done, because I can't get to the socket, and uh, I'm a bit of a paranoid worry wart when it comes to electrics, so what I've done, if I get on the knees, oh, I've put this fused spur, as they call it, up here, switched one. So, this white wire is the load that goes down to the trailing socket down there, the eight-way socket. I'm not going to use all four of these at the same time, so I'm not going to overload the socket, but I don't like to leave trailing sockets turned on anyway, if I can help it, especially when I've got a bunch of old electronics connected because you never really know what they're going to do so whenever I want to use them I can just go it's even got the little neon so I know it's all powered up and working and we're going through that and the one that's just lit up shouldn't be lit up but it has and I know that was the one connected to the Windows Millennium because for some reason that likes to do that if I had a keyboard actually connected to this the um Uh, numlock, numlock rather, light would be lit up as well, even though it's turned off. I never figured out why some computers do that. You see, I can just turn that off like that. Simple. You know, I've got to get up. <coughs> Put my floppy disks on this one, because I figured, you know, I'd most likely play with the floppy disks with these computers, so... Has the Windows Millennium even got a floppy? Oh, it has. It's just rather buried in there. Did I not screw it down? Oh, I don't know. Slide all that along. Back to where it was. And I've got a bit of space there and a bit of space there. That's going to go in the kitchen out of the way. Reason being, I want to set at least six PCs up in this corner. Um, so my plan there is... Where is it? There it is. That's my Windows XP gaming rig. Mm. Pardon me. So I was toying with the idea of either setting that one up, which I am most likely to do, but the 
because it's in such a tall case, it won't go under there. Or there. <laughs> so it's going to have to go under there. But like I said, at the moment I don't have a six-way KVM switch, so I've got to get one. And I think the last computer I actually need is a decent working Windows 2000. Um, I've got that on Windows 2000, but it doesn't work that well because it's uh, meant to be a Windows XP machine. Uh, got the old advent down there. See, this is why I didn't take any of his other computers. Because that's the sort of era computers they were, you know, the sort of Windows XP era. And I've got enough. I've got one, two, three, four. One in the kitchen is five. And I've got several laptops in there also running Windows XP. So, I just figured, you know, don't need them. Oh yeah, and I've got that one, which would make, actually make six desktops running XP. And I've got Windows 10. Well, the Nova, then I've got my HP on Windows 7. And I've got another Windows 10 PC in there with a gigabyte of RAM in it. <laughs> Which really I should sell. Just to get rid of it. Right. I don't want to eBay that computer though, because I hate packing computers up. And bikes, that's why... I've never sold a bike. I've never offered postage because it's too much of an arse ache to pack them. For me, anyway. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I can't remember if I showed you how clean these cases came up after I cleaned them. Just with ordinary kitchen t -t 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 type spraying, you know. Kitchen cleaner. That's all it was. Look at that. My LCD screen on this needs a bloody good clean. But if you remember what they were like in the last video, now look at it. Obviously this is still faded from age, it's meant to be white like the rest of it, same as that, but... I could fix that. If I get some hydrogen peroxide I can take these plastic fronts off and... Uh, give them a bath in it, and that should bring them white again. I think that one might actually be too far gone. It might come up. It might take several baths, but I mean, that switch was full of shit as well, which I've all cleaned out with a cotton bud or a Q-tip if you prefer. Yeah, it's actually come up quite nice. To be honest, though, this doesn't bother me because to me it just shows it's aged. <laughs> and actually, considering how clean they've come up, they've uh, aged quite well, I think. I'm surprised this old monitor hasn't, uh, you know, gone off-white. Even the front of this one's gone off-white. Uh, plastics back then, especially white ones, are a pain in the ass for that. Anywho, I need to get the bed cleared. I need to get this... Put the camera in the right place, that would help. <laughs> Need to get this in the kitchen because uh, I ain't got nowhere else to stand it, so it's gonna have to go in the kitchen for now. And then I've got to decide what computer cases to bring in here. I mean, I could if I really want to stack a couple on there, but if I could at least get three in here one, two, three that would be a great help. Oh, actually, I know what two I can put in there. I think I could get two under there as well. Yeah, it's alright. I've got it figured. Got it figured. Um, ah, that's one problem I need to resolve as well. No audio. And I'm not having six speakers up there, you know, one set for each computer. I need to figure out a way that I can plug all, th well, all three of these, at least for now, into one system so I can have one set of speakers. Um, Need like an amplifier or something. Well, that even one like that, that's not going to have enough inputs on it, and I don't really want to run something like that. What I need is like a big switch that I can plug everything into, and then just switch between them all. That's what I need. 
I've got a little one. I can plug two devices into it. I'll show you what I mean. Just quickly before I go. No, it's not that. I'm sure it's in here. It's up there. It is. What I want is basically a bigger version of this. <laughs> See? You've got your output there. That would go out to the amplifier. And then you've got these two inputs there. And a switch on here to switch between them. So what I'd really need is a larger version of this, because this, well, this will do two. Unless I can find another one of these, you know, that I can perhaps sit up here, or the other way around. Well, actually, if I had another, if they're only that size, I would need another two to switch. And then an amplifier like this one to plug them into. Or even like my little wooden one down there. This cute little thing. I've no idea how old it is, but I know I can connect a phono to it. And it's got, well, it works. I paid a fiver for this from Black Records as well. Spares or repairs. Because it wasn't tested at the time. I've had that a couple of years now. Two or three years. So... But yeah, it works perfectly fine. I've got a headphone socket on it as well. Something small like this, because obviously I'm not going to need a super duper high quality excellent sound system up this corner. I'm just going to need something for audio. <laughs> so, that's a bridge I still need to cross. But uh, I'm certain there's something bigger than that out there, isn't it? I'm sure there's something out there I can find. Anyway. I'm not going to jabber on too much more because that's what makes my videos drag on. I'm going to get this lot sorted out. Might just run across to Lidl's. It doesn't close till 10 so it's not urgent. Um, yeah. Oh, I may want a fresh loaf of bread as well. Oh yeah, get the keyboard down. Get those cables up out of the way. And just to have a general, well, clear the bed so I can actually go to bed. Otherwise, I'll be sleeping on the floor. <laughs> so, I'll talk to you whenever I'm done. Right. I think I've done what I can do for the day at least. It's uh, around about midnight 30, so I can't really do much else. I've just got to these last few bits off the bed I'll just put them on the floor down there mind you those two laptops well the netbook lives down there anyway because that's the one I like to chill out with when I'm in bed um, but here we go it's all been tested I'm not going to turn it on again but I have tested it it all works I've got me a switch there so uh should anything go wrong, I don't think it will, but it's there just in case. There's an extra fuse in the line as well. So, but yeah, I have tested it. It is working. I've got nowhere to put that, so I'll put it there. <laughs> so like an old style light to go with all the old... Uh, computer tech this still asks for a password it didn't when I first got it that's what I don't understand it didn't when I first got it you saw in the video when I first turned it on no password but when I took it apart to clean it all up and put it all back together again and change the CMOS battery and uh, went in and set the time and date properly it then started asking for the password and the only way I could get around it I went into the system BIOS set a password and uh, that worked I just type in the password I set and I can boot the PC and then that one started to do the same bloody thing for some reason is my camera getting a bit iffy or is it just me I don't know I didn't like to take some photos early, I know that they came out a bit grainy for some reason. So, that's done. The other thing I've been doing with this evening, because I figured enough was enough, 
the kitchen. I've just got a couple of saucepans in there. I'm getting fucking knackered. I really want to go to bed, but I just want to get these saucepans done. No saucepans done. They can drain overnight, but the rest of the kitchen I'm going to tackle in the morning or when I get up. You know what all this is, don't you? This filth is where I've been working on bikes and then I come in here and I go <laughs> Wow, look at my freezer. Chunk of meat, a bag of chips and a couple of bags of veg. You know, that's all that is. I'm saying that, it's just dirty paw prints. Right, I've got those in there. I've actually counted up. I've got 16 working PCs. Um, empty case, two empty cases behind it. Is that wind or is it raining? It's wind. There's still that Dell server. Motherboard is shot on that. Um, Dell being Dell have a, a light code, you know, an LED co code, error code and uh, I looked it up and it did say the motherboard's gone, so if I can get another motherboard for that, I'd have a Dell server. Power Edge, I think that is, I can't remember. Very minimalistic, it's literally got the floppy disk drive, the CD drive, and virtually nothing on the back for ports. I think it's got a couple of USB ports and the video port, and that is it. It's, just, it's literally designed, well, as it says, as a server and not as a PC to be used for anything. This kitchen, including the grubby floor, will be cleaned tomorrow. Got itchy back, bear with me just a second. <laughs> Don't think I've got anything else to do in there. Lounge looks worse than it is, as always. Literally, by the time I put that red tub back and whatnot, and a few other bits, it ain't gonna look too bad in here. Take that traffic cone down to the shed. Clear that shelf <laughs> and uh, that'll be it. Meow. You got any food in your dish? No, I've got to top it up. I'll do that before I uh, go to bed. Right then. I'm a happy chappy. Got my. Uh, Pretty much got my PC corner there exactly how I want it. I just need to find a Windows 2000 PC, a better one than the one I've got. And by that I mean one that actually works better, but we'll see. I might see if I can get the 2000 drivers for the one in the kitchen, actually. You never know. <laughs> Alright, I'm knackered. I'm going to go and get these saucepans done and I'm going to bugger off to bed. So, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. And I will talk to you all again soon. Bye.